When gardening, soil is the single most important variable to consider. Soil is valuable for a number of reasons. Absorbing and retaining water, as a source of nutrients, as an anchor for the plant, and as a home to a myriad of visible and invisible forms of life. When classified by texture, there are three main types of soil. Sandy, silt, clay, and the ideal mix, an equal combination of sand, silt, and clay, which is called loam. First, let's take a closer look at the three main types of soil texture. This is sand soil. Made up of larger granules, when wet, it won't hold shape at all. Silt soil is made up of medium-sized granules. When picked up, it has a flowery, dry feel. When wet, it cannot hold shape well. Clay soil is very fine. It makes a hard crust after rain and holds its shape when wet. Now, let's look at how the three types absorb water. After one minute, our three types of soil have reacted very differently. Sand has almost completely absorbed the water. Silt has absorbed water, but significantly slower than sand. Clay is the slowest to absorb. Nearly all the water remains on top. As we just saw, the challenge of sandy soil is that it drains fast, losing water and nutrients quickly. Clay soil, on the other hand, doesn't drain well and it can cause water logging and root rot. Both can be improved by adding compost, which helps sandy soil retain water and improves drainage in clay. While texture is an important factor, you can learn more about the organic matter, nutrient, and mineral content of your soil by collecting a sample and having it analyzed. Your local Texas A&M AgriLife Extension office will provide you with more information and the sample bags. So even if your soil looks like this, with patience, knowledge, and the right approach, you can improve it to get plentiful harvest. Thank you for watching and if you are interested in learning more about vegetable gardening, check out our other videos.